and I don't mind this reroute. See how you shallow it out? There's nothing wrong with that. Your club delivery is shallow there. I think what we've got to do though is I'd like to see your swing finisher a little shorter. You're staying reasonably still. Your pelvis isn't shifting forward too much. You're not thrusting. Not early. Yeah. Well, it you're turned out of the way pretty good. I mean, if we were to put a sensor on your hips, you're you're pretty out of the way. I mean, the the path is in to out, no doubt, but one degree, that's good. That's what I want. One or two is about what I want. The the question is how often can you repeat this I'd like you to be a little bit shorter and I'd like to see obviously I've already said I think that swing is a little too high I think it's too upright but this is good right in here where you're delivering the club I have to check a couple other things from the other. Yeah, the grip, I don't see anything wrong with your grip. I think it, it's, if you, you've got two knuckles on your left hand, it looks like to me. Can you see the first? You want to strengthen it? What you're doing right now feels uncomfortable? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you don't have it. Yeah. There's a. No, don't worry about it. No, there's a million ways to grip the club. I mean, you have plenty. Your speed of your body is so is good enough. I'll never worry. If you had really slow hips and you couldn't turn your body at all, yeah, I would say you got to grip it weak, but you don't need a weak grip. What you need is a consistent delivery, club delivery, that's within one or two degrees. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to get you synced up. We're going to get your arms in right here, everything moving together through the ball, getting your pelvis and your the handle of your club moving together, and keeping that circle, meaning your hands are not going this way. They're just swinging around. And it's really about connection of the lead arm through the hitting zone, keeping your chest turning, which you're doing all pretty well. But I don't think your irons are your problem. I think we got to see some other clubs. I I I got to see what is going on. Now you are you are early extending a little bit here. Your hips are coming forward just a little bit. So what I want you to be working on is putting a a shaft right over your right knee and making sure you're moving your right knee toward your left ankle, so you're not moving out. That will help you sync up your arms and body. Your feet are pretty quiet, though. I've seen a worse position of your right foot. I've seen it way up. It's just this knee, I don't want it to go toward the ball. I don't want your right knee to go out. Now, is that something you go to the golf course thinking about? No. You just work on a drill where you put a club at a 45-degree angle, and you just work on rolling the ankle a little more. That's it. Let's see what your driver looks like.